Today we're going to learn how to make yeast bread with the help of a standing mixer. We need sugar, bread flour, salt, milk, butter, and of course yeast. You always want to make sure that you use the yeast before the use by date, which is indicated by the month and the year, to assure that it's fresh and active. We're going to start with two and a half cups of bread flour. And to measure, you simply scoop the flour into the cup and then level it off with the metal spatula. Then we'll add two tablespoons of granulated sugar, one teaspoon of salt, and one package of yeast. And this time I'm using Saf Gourmet Perfect Rise Yeast which is a fast-acting yeast. We'll pour the entire packet into the mixture, then we'll place the mixer bowl with the paddle, and we will blend this together for one minute at low speed. I have measured out one and a quarter cups of milk and two tablespoons of butter. We'll place the butter in the milk and microwave this on high for about one and a half minutes. I have heated this mixture in my microwave on high for about 90 seconds. We want it to be about 120 to 130 degrees. Be sure to use an instant read thermometer to make sure it's the right temperature. If it's too hot, just let it cool down to 130 before you add it. When you add too hot of liquid to yeast, it can actually kill the yeast, but you want it to be warm enough to activate the yeast. So at 120 to 130, it's perfect. Now we'll add this to the mixture and continue beating with the paddle for about two minutes until it's smooth. We'll increase the speed slightly, and then we'll add more flour until the mixture starts pulling away from the side of the bowl. Turn it down a bit, and we'll beat this for about four minutes. We'll stop the mixer and actually remove the paddle, scraping off the dough and replacing it with the dough hook. And the dough hook will do the kneading for us and then start the process again. And then we'll add flour as we need it, one tablespoon at a time. And you can scrape down the, the sides of the bowl periodically to make sure that the flour is getting incorporated into the mixture. This is starting to pull away nicely. We may still add a little bit more flour. After about four minutes, we'll increase that speed slightly and set the timer for about seven minutes and then we'll check it again. After about seven minutes, we'll stop the mixer and we'll check to see if the dough has been kneaded enough. And this looks really good. So now we'll scrape the dough off the paddle and place it in another bowl to rise or to proof. Place the dough to cover it with a little bit of the cooking spray and then we'll cover it with some plastic wrap to keep it from drying out and then we'll place it in a proofing oven. We'll leave it in there for about an hour to an hour and a half until it nearly doubles in size. And then we'll check to see if it's risen enough. We've just removed the dough from the microwave after it's proofed for about an hour. To test to make sure that it is risen enough, what we're going to do is just take two fingers and insert them into the dough down to about our knuckles. If the indentations remain, then the dough has risen enough and we're ready to shape it into a loaf of bread. And it looks like it's ready. We'll punch down the center to get all of the air bubbles out. We'll wrap it up in a ball and then we'll place it on a floured surface. We might need to add a little bit more flour here to make it easy to work with. Then we'll roll it out to a, a rectangular size of about seven by nine. Just want to smooth it out, get all the bubbles out, 
and then we'll just start from one end and roll it up and then we need to prepare our baking pan by spraying it with a little bit of cooking spray and then we'll gently lift the bread and place it in the baking pan. We need to cover it lightly with a clean dishcloth and then place it once again in the microwave to proof. After about 35 to 40 minutes, let's check again to see if the bread has risen in the pan. And just to make sure that it is risen enough, just press into it slightly with a finger. When the indentation remains, you know that it's risen long enough, so it's ready to bake. So now we'll place it in a 375 degree oven that's been preheated, and then we'll bake it for about 35 to 40 minutes at 375. One way to make sure the bread is done is just to flick on it with your finger and if it sounds hollow, then the bread is done. Then we'll just turn it out onto a wire rack to cool completely. I hope you'll try it soon. <laughs>